class. Today we're going to learn how to install Node.js on Windows. So if you go to your command prompt currently, you won't have Node or NPM. You can check by typing in the command Node and it will say that Node is not recognized as an internal or external command. You can also try NPM and you'll see that it's not recognized as an internal or external command. So that's because we have to install Node and NPM if we want to use them as commands. So close the terminal and go to the website nodejs.org slash en slash download. So it's just nodejs.org and the downloads tab. Here we can download NPM which comes with Node. So the two are bundled. Next, we have to choose the installer that we want to use. So you can choose these recommended, one for Windows, one for Mac, or the source code. Or you can choose a specific installer. So for Windows, we have two options, the installer or the binary. Typically, the installer is the easiest one. Then we have these choices, 32-bit or 64-bit. So this refers to what bit version is your computer. Most likely, your computer is 64-bit, right? So you want to select 64-bit because that's what most new computers have, right? Otherwise, you have this option for 32-bit. Now, how do you know what bit version you have? If you're not sure, then you can go into your settings and you can search here for the settings. So just go to the settings app. And then you can search in your settings for your bit. So you can enter here bit and you'll get this prompt. See if you have 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows. So you can click on that and it will tell you in your device specifications your system type. So my system type is the 64-bit operating system. So most likely your computer will be 64-bit under system type. So choose the correct installer version for your computer and then you'll get this prompt opening node version 16.14.0 for 64-bit computers .msi. This is a Windows installer package. You can save the file then go to the file and open it up. You want to open this executable file. You'll get the message that it may contain viruses which is a standard message. In our case, it is safe. We can hit OK. And next up, we'll be taken to the Node.js setup wizard. This will install Node.js on our computers. We can hit Next. We can read through the license, accept the terms, and hit Next. Then we can choose a location where Node.js will be installed. Hit Next. Then we can customize our setup if we want to, Okay, or we can just keep the default which is good enough. Next, we can optionally select native modules. So some NPM modules need to be compiled from the C or C++ programming languages when installing. If you want to be able to install such modules, some tools need to be installed. Likely, you will want to install the necessary tools, so select this box. This will install Chocolatey, which is a common tool. The script will pop up in a new window after installation completes. So likely you do want to check this box, then hit next. Now we're ready to begin installation, so we can hit install. The setup wizard is now installing Node.js onto my computer. I'll get this message, do you want to allow the app to make changes on your device? You have to hit yes, because the app has to make changes on your computer because it's installing a new package to your computer. Okay, next we see this completed Node.js setup wizard. This means Node.js has been successfully installed and it does include NPM. So you have NPM as well. Next, the terminal will open because we selected that we want additional scripts. So this script will install Python and Visual Studio build tools necessary to compile Node.js native modules. Chocolatey and required Windows updates will also be installed. So we will likely want these additional tools as well. This will require three gigabytes of free disk space and potentially more for the installation. Please close all open programs for the duration of the installation. If the installation fails, please ensure Windows is fully updated. Restart your computer and try again. Press any key to continue through these prompts.
Then you'll be asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, the Windows PowerShell? You want to select yes. This is the administrator Windows PowerShell. Here, this is installing all of those extra scripts. So first we see that Choco was found. So I already have Chocolatey, it's not installing twice. Then we are installing a newer version of Python because for these additional scripts, we're using the tools Chocolatey and Python. All right, so now we're getting the 64-bit version of Python 3. So this is the script that's adding the additional build tools to Node.js and NPM, which is optional, but likely you will want it at some point, so you should install it. So currently it's installing. I'm going to wait for the installation to complete. All right, so now Python has been installed. Restricting the right permissions to administrators only. And as well, Chocolatey Visual Studio extension files are upgrading. And the, those scripts are being installed. So we just have to wait for the download to complete of all these additional tools. This way, Node.js and NPM, they can have additional features like installing packages. All right, so here we're installing the Visual Studio installer which is all still part of that Node.js and NPM additional script. All right, and now the download of the Visual Studio build tools is complete. If you get any error messages, don't worry about those. You should still see at the end you have most of your tools. And if you have any error messages while running, then you can leave those for now they shouldn't cause any problems. If you do encounter problems, then you can fix them once they do occur. Then hit enter to exit. All right, so now we have installed Node and NPM. So how do we check? Well, we can open up our command prompt again, open up a new instance because we have made changes to the computer. So you want to refresh the terminal by reopening it. And then you can try typing in Node. And look at that. Now, I have a new message that says, welcome to Node.js version 16.4.0. Type .help for more information. So I can read some information for some tips about what Node can do. I can hit Control C to abort the current expression. And then hit Control C again, and I go back to my terminal. I can check what version of Node I have with Node-V. So I have Node version 16.14.0. Note that for Truffle, you'll need Node at least version 12. You can also check your version of NPM with NPM-V. NPM, I have 8.3.1. So remember, Node and NPM, they come together. So once you installed Node, it also includes NPM. So now you can use the NPM command. All right, so instead of getting an error message that says NPM is not available, now you get some prompts for some ideas of what NPM can do. For example, NPM can install packages into your project. You can run tests for a project. You can run a script and more. Awesome, so that is how you can get Node and NPM on Windows.